Hi, Eric. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Welcome. I'm good. So we're going to do a strata procedure today because of your reflux disease. How long have you had reflux, approximately? Oh, I was diagnosed with uh, Barrett's esophagus for about a year. Okay. Um, so it's been, and I had some issues with uh, hiccups, which probably was an onset of, of uh, the problems with the reflux. Great. Now you've had, uh, so if we go through your symptoms, do you have some of the, the typical reflux symptoms? Belching? Yes. Regurgitation? No, not, not that much. Regurgitation. So not that much regurgitation. How about heartburn? Heartburn. Difficulty yes. swallowing? Yes. Okay. And so do you get the sense that food kind of gets hung up as you're swallowing it for a little bit? And Sometimes that can be the case. Okay. And you've taken what medication to try and make that better? Omeprazole. Omeprazole. For 20 milligrams every day, it's been a year, and I think that that has had some effects on nutrient digestion and some other issues. Did it help with the symptom? N nothing permanent. Nothing uh, permanent. Okay. I, I've been off at once and it just increased. Increased. So those are the esophageal type symptoms. Do you have any of the laryngeal or LPR type symptoms like um, throat clearing, hoarseness, voice alteration, mucus there's production? Hoarse, there's some hoarseness. Any sleep apnea? No, I know I snore because my wife uh, mm -hmm. tells me. <laughs> Do you have very much post-nasal drip? Yes, okay. I've had that. So a lot of that is also involved in reflux. Mm -hmm. two different mechanisms. When we talk about esophageal symptoms, it's mostly about acid or bile coming up. And when we talk about laryngeal symptoms, it's actually gaseous pepsin, an enzyme from the stomach that comes up. And, and then what you eat then activates that. It's pronounced with like spicy foods for me. How about acidy foods like with vinegar or juice or things like that? It hasn't been so much, but that's not a big part of my diet either. Okay. We did some testing today. Um, as we always do, we look at gastric motility. We look at, um, and so you have a change in your gastric motility, which has been caused, has been caused by your reflux. With the repair of the sphincter, the restoration of your sphincter function, that actually is going to get better. Have you had any of the symptoms of that, like maybe feeling more bloated or full after meals I than you remember? I get a little bit gassy, yeah, sometimes. Okay, so that again is also part of the reflux syndrome. Okay. That, that will go away once this thing is finally treated. Um, the other thing you had is you had an esophageal motility study and, and the sphincter pressure down here is measurably low. But also the interesting thing is, is because of your reflux for so long, it has gotten in the way of your body's being able to contract normally and so you have essentially no normal peristalsis. So the food is supposed to go down, it's supposed to contract, contract, contract and move the food down and that's why you kind of get that sense of things hanging okay. in your chest is because it starts to contract and then it kind of goes and just stops. Hmm. Again, that is due to reflux, and we look to see that normal peristalsis or motility will come back once we can stop the reflux. I just wanted to uh, remind you, I know you, we've given you this little five-page yes. piece that we wrote up the, of most of the questions that people have. I just wanted to um, mention to you the most immediate side effects that many people have. Almost everyone has a sore throat. Mm -hmm. after the procedure. Uh, but beyond that, between 2 and 5% will have some mild chest discomfort that can last between 2 hours and 2 days, and we can give you some pain medication for that if you need it. Uh, between 5 and 8% of patients will have what we call dyspepsia, where you may feel very bloated and gassy, mm -hmm. lose your appetite, and that can go as long as 2 weeks. And other than that, we really don't see any significant complications um, with this procedure. Well, if you have no further questions, um, we'll go ahead and finish the preparation. We have to get a pad onto your back okay. so that the, you will interface with the machine and we'll know exactly what's happening. So I'm just going to have you sit forward just right. a little bit.